Hi everyone, my name is Crystal Wei and I'm from Mount Royal University and today I will be showing you an open source R Shiny app that will be demonstrating for low and middle income countries tracking COVID-19. So uh, the presentation will be available upon request, but there is a deployed version on the Shiny app server as well we have our GitHub available. So what are our key goal behind this project is that we want to be able to track COVID-19, but it is adaptable to any infectious disease. And our primary emphasis is in low and middle income countries. However, because of the socioeconomic situation and their limited resources, but it is applicable to all countries. So first I will address the three simple steps that users will need to access our app. So you can access our app on via browser or from our GitHub and then you'll upload your seed data and then you'll set the appropriate parameters and model and you'll be able to run your simulation. So here we're using Nigeria as a test case where we have about 1.6 million grid cells containing 210 million citizens. So here we have our, the simulation is able to do two aspects, a retrospective analysis and a projection into the future. So our dates will be September 2020 to December 2020, and then June 2022 and October 2022. So here the blue line represents the actual reported deaths by the Nigerian Center of Disease Control. As you can see that there were daily reports until eventually they were only reporting about once a week, and that's why we have these aggregated cumul cumulative data points. And then the red and green lines represent scenario one and two, where with and without restrictions. So we can see that the model overestimated the amount of deaths, but if you're able to adequately play around the parameters, you're able to get a more accurate estimation. So in conclusion, when there are no restrictions or interventions, Nigeria experienced about nearly twice as many deaths and the vaccine rollout would not be as nearly effective in 2021. So we want to emphasize why, how important it is that governments intervene and uh, restrictions during uh, and pandemics. So here I'll be showing a deterministic model simulation using Nigeria's data. So here we can see that Lagos is experiencing most of the level of incidents as well as two other states, but as we near October, we only have a few litter of incidents in Lagos. And I would like to acknowledge the team behind um, this dashboard. Yeah. And yeah, thank you for attending.